Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the Guided Fate Paradox. <laughs> so, we're heading back in. And if you remember, last time, we finished Lesson 2. Which means... It should take us straight into Lesson 3, I think? Hopefully. Oh, school. This is Shakado Private School. One of Japan's largest schools with both middle and high schools located in the same building. <clears throat> How many times have I passed through this school's gate now, I wonder? School's tiring. I thought that before, but it's different now. Trivial chats with classmates, boring, sleep-inducing lectures, and ordinary life it makes me happy. I bet this is the same happiness felt when soldiers or survivors of natural disasters return to their normal lives. It's nice. Well, but in my case, the fleeting moments of an ordinary life are just that. Fleeting. And, like, that zombie was so awesome! Every time a couple started making out, he ripped them up and devoured them whole! <laughs> Hi, Manamo. <laughs> Man, it was so adorable! You gotta see it, Renya! Like, it's an order. Dummy. No matter how far and wide we look, you'd be the only middle school girl who'd talk about how adorable a zombie is. And thanks to your terrible influence, I know way more about zombies than ever before. So, thanks for that. Yo, Renya! Morning, mm -hmm. dude! Coming to school arm in arm with your sister again, are you? <laughs> Damn, so lucky. I want a little sister, too. <laughs> At Suta? If you're serious about it, ask your parents to make one. <laughs> Good morning, Kusanagi. Little Minamo, that's such a distant way to address me. Just say Atsuda. No, no, no. Try Atsi. <laughs> Minamo, keep your distance, lest Atsuta's idiocy infect you as well. Uh, anyway, did you hear about the transfer student? That's not a rare thing for a school of our magnitude, you know. Yeah, but on her first day, she got into a scuffle with the motorcycle gang that hangs by the train station, and she beat him down! What? Oh, I heard they were sent to the hospital. Apparently she dropped 20 of them in a single attack. That's pretty suspicious. Is she like... A bodybuilder or something? Some kind of reclusive kung fu master? No, no, she's pretty much exactly like that. Howdy! I'm the new transfer student everyone's spreading rumors about. Name's Riyazaki. Kuroyel. You! I've come to pick you up, Lord. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're heading back to Celestia. Oh, Lord, I assume that by this point you have quite a few bursts of equipment and have gained a good number of holy icons. But, are you sure you're not sitting on far too many unused holy icons? Eh? Huh? I wonder. Let me look into that. There is a method where you can increase the tiles available to place holy icons. What? Huh? So I can make more room and put down even more holy icons? So basically, there's a way for me to raise my stats even more? How splendid, Lord. You catch on quick. I will explain, so please come with me. Okay. 
Okay, allow me to explain the concept of unlocking new Divinogram tiles. As the concept implies, you can increase the number of tiles where holy icons may be placed. Let us unlock a new tile, shall we? Is this ridiculously easy too? Naturally! First press the triangle button to open the, up the menu, then select the unlock tiles option. Okay... At the top red screen, you will see just how many tiles you are able to unlock at the moment. All you must do is highlight the currently locked tile that you wish to unlock and press the handy dandy X button. Huh. Unlocking complete. That's all there is to it. Huh. Simple. It always feels so weird to be able to power up this easily. Mwahaha. Do not feel weird about it. Redirect that feeling into helping out those who wish for you to guide their fates. Y yeah, you're right. So I can use the new tile however I want? Yes. Use a holy icon and eventually place a holy artifact if you so choose. All is God's will. Got it. I'm going to become the master of unlocking for sure. <laughs> and then I'll power up. The number of tiles you may release increases as you answer prayers and raise your total level. Battles within the Fate Revolution circuit will be quite easy as long as you increase the number of tiles available to you. For your own safety, Lord, please use our modification program a lot. Unless you enjoy making the lovely Liliel worry. Uh, y yeah, I get it. I'll modify myself pretty heavily, so you don't have to worry, Liliel. Okay, but what happens... No. What happened? Oh, 12? What happens if I unlock this? Energy source generated. Giga Roast obtained. Elixir obtained. Oh. So wait. Hold on. Energy source generate. Giga Roast obtained. So what are those? Huh. Sleep gem, paralyzed gem, confusion gem, forgetful gem. Okay, so I just got a ton of crap. Um, so I can unlock four more. So what if I unlock all the ones around it? Strong arm god. What does that mean? Well, I got some kind of a buff. Defense tiles. Okay. Still, my thing increased. Huh. Alright. End modification. Uh, hello, Mr. Blacksmith. God, I have so little money. Sell... Wait, where did... Oh, there we go. No, wait.
Oh, there we go. Storage. So we got an elixir. Giga roast. What does elixir do? Store 100 SP. Okay. Causes all enemies in the current room to fall asleep. Oh, wow. I'm selling these. Because hot damn. Uh, hmm. Do I sell all these? Probably shouldn't sell them. Hmm. But I don't know. want to just burst what I got? Well, okay. I got plenty of cash now. Strengthen. Equipment. Burst my bat wings. Thank you. Burst Liliel's bat wings. Thank you. Okay, so... Stuff we have isn't bursted. Aren't bursted yet. So I'm going to need some replacement gear. Gas mask, fine. Gunner leg, fine. Tank. Evil eyes arm. Evil eyes arm. Spiky ball, I don't care that much about. Wooden shield, yes. Tank mark two, yeah. Zombie hat. Oh, but Spiky Ball is plus two. Dagger. Leg. Pistol. Gunner leg. Helm. Gas mask. Okay. So we'll go back. I'm gonna sell these. Yes, yes, yes. Organize. Oh, there we go. Organize. Okay, so I'm going to sell anything that isn't plus something. Okay. That'll do. It's space for five items. Okay, you know what? I'll sell two of the Evil Eyes arm. I'll get rid of one tank, and I'll get rid of the spiky ball. Okay, hang on to everything else. Purchase holy artifacts. Let's buy one of each of these. Not gonna buy the changer. Okay, so I think we're okay. Should I just sell those? To pouch, to pouch, to pouch. I've only got room for six items, I mean... I do want to hang on to the dagger, but, okay, you know what, okay, we'll sell it, we'll sell it. I might regret this, okay, sell it all. 
Okay. And then back into the Divinogram. I get the feeling I'm going to have to do a suspend save here. Okay, don't have any more holy icons. Place holy artifact. Head up. Eh. Arm up. Eh. Arm up. Eh. Okay. Then leg up. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Put that back where it was. Yeah. That's fine. Uh... Okay, so leg up can go in... this corner. And miscellaneous up can go in this corner. Okay. That should do for now. We'll see how this all goes. Uh, well, I'll save over that one before I talk to Liliel and start this whole uh, thing off. Okay. Uh, oh, I should probably check to see if Liliel's equipped. Eh, she's fine. Could give her dual pistols. That'd be cool. Nah. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I could Stand talk up. to people. I expect much from the one who. I expect much from the one who had the proper DNA to be chosen as our god by the lottery machine of destiny. I seriously can't believe I have special DNA like that. Your believing is not required. All you must do is complete your duties as God. Fair I'm enough. Blessed. So you have no So you have no recollection of hearing a woman's voice while inside the machine. Sorry, I feel like I might have, but my memories are kind of hazy. Anyway, is it just me or do you seem overly concerned about it? No, you are thinking too much. Uh-huh. Sure I am. Okay. Just talk to everyone real quick. Oop, hey. Yes, I gotta. How was that? I look pretty. I look pretty hot in that uniform, huh? Yeah, you looked really cute yet tough. But you said you transferred in, so are you planning to attend my school? I said I transferred, so it's kind of obvious that I'll be going. Seriously, my personal promised land is slowly being taken over. Don't let me down. Sup. It appears that you sh it appears that you shall be taking your time to achieve a full awakening. How disappointing. A full awakening? Is this another delusion made up in that twisted mind of yours? <laughs> Pay me no mind, Lord. Uh-huh. I don't exactly trust you. This would feel so good. How did you enjoy Galshin's tasting? Huh? What does that mean? Don't tell me you're the only one doing the tasting here. My, our little god boy is surprisingly aggressive. Seriously, what are you trying to say? Eh. Okay. How do I jump again? Oh, there we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Alright, let's get on with it. Come on. Liliel. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Lord. How was Earth? Eh, it was the same as ever. Forget about that, though. Why do you always do stuff like wait for me outside of school or pretend to be transferring in? Aww. 
You did not like our approach? I thought it would help fulfill your desires as a student, Lord. You'll fulfill my desires like that? For me, at least. I very much enjoyed the so-called uniform from the world you were born into, Lord. So basically, hmm. it's not me. You do those things because you like them. Hey, relax. I mean, I went so far as to imitate a really cool transfer student, and you say you don't like that? No, that's not what I meant. I mean, you don't have to do such intricate things each time. I won't run away. Yeah, I don't think you'd run either. That's why I went ahead and chose the next prayer for you to answer myself. Says the one who went berserk against a gang of delinquents. I bet it's a violent prayer, wishing for blood to wash away blood, right? Berserk? Violent? Me? Compared to other angels, I'll have you know that I was tenderly raised in a germ-free environment. I'd love to meet a tenderly raised girl from a germ-free environment who could beat up 20 motorcycle gang members. I mean, she is an angel. No, I'm serious. I, I hate to admit this, but of all the angels here in Celestia, my powers are ranked the lowest. I'm like the kid in class who can't be left behind. In that sense, maybe I am the right type to fight delinquents. Hey, come on. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. It ain't your fault, Lord. I just wanted you to know what's what. Celestia is full of quirky guys, sure, but some angels, like myself and Liliel, really do rely on you, Lord. Kuroiel. <laughs> Saying that sort of stuff doesn't really suit me, does it? Moving on, I'll be waiting for you to come back, and I'll have the best home-cooked meal you've ever had waiting for you, too. Hmm. I had heard that Miss Coroia was moved to this area of Celestia only a little bit before my own arrival. And although I may just be a novice, I shall do my very best to fulfill my own duties. Well, in her case, I think she's just a big busybody at heart. I mean that in a good way, of course. <laughs> I think you are right. Now then, it is time to get to work. Are you prepared, Lord? Let me at him. Let me at him. How sincerely reliable of you. Okie dokie, then let us go to the one who needs God's guidance. And so it begins again. I'm definitely going to have to suspend save on this one. What the hell? Heavenly Father, please help stop my older sister. Eleanor. She's a mermaid. At this rate, she will not be my sister for much longer. She will be killed by the humans. Please, God. Please help stop my sister Thelma. Hmm. 
So it seems the younger sister is praying for her older sister to be saved. And the way she said it made it sound like her sister has been driven into a corner. Well, we'll deal with that later. I'm more curious about this spacious ocean. Are we on the ocean floor? Will we be okay? I mean, in terms of breathing. You will be fine, of course. You are God. Eh, fair enough. Is that how it works? Okay, um, setting that concern aside, you're telling me that I have to scour the entire ocean to find the girl who prayed. No need to worry, right? I mean, the Fate Revolution circuit only replicates the important bits relating to the prayer. Up until now, everything's turned out fine. As long as I keep going straight ahead, I'll solve this soon enough. Yeah! Even if that's true, um... Uh, anyway, it appears you're even more fired up than usual, Lord. Nah, <laughs> it's nothing like that. I'm always fired up. I bet I know what it is. The prayer this time is coming from a cute girl. That's not really... Your little sister, Miss Minamo, was it? I would estimate the two are around the same age. Do you think I'm projecting my sister onto this girl? Do you think I'm feeling guilty for deceiving my family about my new job? I do not believe thinking of others while having a family member in mind is projecting. I call it compassion. <clears throat> well, we should get going and find the girl with the wish. Lesson three! The mermaids will sing! Huh. Okay. Whoa! Hmm. Uh... Oh, there we go. What the hell, man? Oh. Uh. Uh. Um, do it. Tax on obstruction. Okay, fine. Oh God. Take that. Oh, something burst. Okay. White Swan. Okay, let's swap it out with uh, Tank Mark II. Oh, whoops. Eat Chainsaw! Tuna head. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell is with the mini map? This is weird. Here we go. Okay, I found the exit. Oh, 
Oh god, Lily L. Eat this! Okay. Oh god, I need to equip two weapons? Fine, two evil eyes arms. What the hell? Get out of here. Okay. Picked up Mega Beefy. Huh? I think I popped out on the other side of the map. This could make for some pretty convenient shortcuts. Ooh. Apple core. Hi. Uh oh. What? Oh no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, okay. We're doing fine. Uh. Okay, let's get out. Uh, next floor? Uh, suspend or next floor? Okay, we'll do one more floor. Oh, copy world. <clears throat> Please stop, Thelma! What will you prove by doing this? Those who aren't at fault! What reason could you possibly have for doing that? I have a good reason, of course. Doing this heals my wounded heart. It calms me! Oh, God. Get out of my way, Eleanor! Don't interfere with my favorite pastime! Your prayers have reached me, my child. Hmm. Who are you? Huh. I'm God. I just happen to be passing by. <laughs> um, Lord, you will be regarded as a creepy hoodlum if you do such things. Wait, really? I thought I was acting pretty cool. God? Are you really God? Wow, she believed me pretty much right away. <laughs> It would appear I'm beginning to possess the dignity and presence of God after all. I will ignore that last sentence. It appears you can now remain calm even when you see a mythical creature like the mermaid. Lord, have you come to answer my prayer? If you have, then, then please, please stop my big sister. Sure, I intend to do just that. That's why I've come here today. God, huh? So why is God only appearing before me now? 
I've said that prayer for so long, but you never listened to it before. How dare you come here now and act so nonchalant? Oh boy. <sighs> this song. A mermaid song can sink men's ships. As soon as I heard her sing, that legend came to mind. I've never heard such an ominous song in my entire life. Her negative feelings held a strong grudge. Yes, rather than a song, it was her grudge set to music. what most other mermaids are capable of. A regular human would not stand a chance. This would cause insanity instantly. What? And that's all the more reason for me to hurry up and stop her. A moment, Lord, if you will. No matter how one sees it, this level of magic is abnormal. Something must be... Hey! Stop! Are you planning to involve your sister in this too? Silence! I... No longer... I will no longer heed God's words! She disappeared. Lord, this is an irregular situation. The Fade Revolution circuit is supposed to screen wishes so they will match your level. <coughs> However, this one is clearly... Exceeding my level? I am afraid to say that it is so. Since it has come to this, I feel emergency measures must be taken. What kind of measures? W well, it is hard for me to say this, but it means we may have to erase the existence of the one who prayed to God. That's not a funny joke. There's no way I can agree to that. B but to handle such an irregular case, my handy dandy manual says there's no other way. Screw the manual. It's neither handy nor dandy. Throw that piece of crap away. Don't sweat it. I'm God, after all. I'll grant your heart's desire. Hmm. Ooh, new weapon. Oh, come on. Pick up. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I don't care about that. Change equipment. Let's use the. Oh, wait, what's the new one? Tuna head. Increases speed for a few turns. Okay. E. 
ี้โอเคอู้โอเควุ้บซีสุดแค่สุดแค่ we got this Fence has increased. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh, this is a big one. Pick up. Uh, what do I throw? Hand axe. Apple core. Select. Um. Yes. Eat. I guess. Oh, that's what that. It's just a. Okay, I'm being dumb. Yeah. Ooh, more money, 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 money. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Revolution. Suspend. All right, so I'll call it there for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and I'm playing the Guided Fate Paradox on the PS3 if you do want to check it out for yourself. Man. Okay, so we got mermaids now, and things are going a bit crazy, but we're not going to give up. We're going to do this. Screw our level. We'll do this. And either way, in the next part, we'll load the suspend save, continue through, and see if we can at least get to the halfway point. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>